after setting up SSH key login for Ubuntu, let's move on to firewall. Let's see how we can set up Ubuntu 22.04 firewall. And we're going to use the uncomplicated firewall, which makes working with Ubuntu firewall much easier. To get to this page, just, just go to bizanosa.com slash Ubuntu 22 to follow along with this setup. So we've done all the above. Right now we are here, firewall setup. We're just moving down the line and we're going to move on until we finish everything on that list. First of all, you can just do UFW status to see if UFW is set up on your server. Sudo UFW status. So you can see it is active and we have these rules added onto our server. So we don't need to install it. If you are on Debian 11, you probably need to install it first of all before you can continue. By default, before you even do anything on your server, before you install anything, you just want to deny all outgoing traffic and deny all incoming traffic. By default, we want to allow outgoing traffic and then we also want to deny incoming traffic. Deny incoming traffic. I don't really have a website. What are people coming to do? So I'm going to deny the traffic. So if there's any specific port that you need to allow, you can allow it. Or any specific service that you need to allow, you can allow it. So like for, for instance, after doing that, let's do status again to see what is available for us. If W status, okay, we can see this one is still there, but what happens if I allow it again? What's going to happen? SSH. By default, SSH port is port 22. Let me just control L. I will clear the screen. Paste. sudo UFW allow SSH. Enter. So rule added. It was already there. What do you mean it has been added? So you've added it twice. Okay. So you can see this is there. Ah, that's not a problem. Just let that be like that. You can see it allows it for V6. If you scroll up, you'll see that it was allowed. But now it has allowed it again. If you want to delete it, you can delete it. You can do sudo sudo UFW status numbered enter and this is going to give your your rules numbers so maybe you want to delete number one so let's delete number one the first one if you want to delete it if you come back all these are available here so you won't get lost you can allow a port and then you can delete like in our case let's come back and delete UFW delete number one. You need to confirm it there. You can see it has been shown to you there the rule. So you press Y to accept or no to reject. So we can do numbered again. And you can see it is not available. So we also want to delete the one for V6. That is IPV6. So let's delete rule number two. Allow TCP. Nope. I don't want to delete that. So I want to so delete rule number two. Enter. Proceed with operation Y. We're going to delete allow 22. Yes, delete that rule. Let me do control L. Let me just go up. I'm sure I'm going to find it. There's no point in typing. If I can find it. So we do have the rules that we've created. So we won't be able we won't be locked out of our server. If you delete this too, you will be locked out of your server. We'll be allowing a port for our SSH. Once we change the port, let me just I will do that when you get there. But you can allow a port like that. Maybe your Kubernetes, you're running Kubernetes, there are certain ports that need to be allowed. You can allow a port, you can allow a range of ports certain HTTP non-protocols, you can allow them, you can allow HTTP and HTTPS. Of course, ours is enabled because we found when we ran status, it's 
it showed us the rules that we had so we don't need to we don't need to enable it but if you run enable you'll see what it will tell you firewall is active and enabled on startup so if you do sudo starters again it will just show you the rules that you have if you add any more rules you'll see them here if you're unable to access maybe traffic you create a website you're unable to access it come in here and enable the two ports that I've shown you, the two services for HTTP and HTTPS. They will enable the default port for this. If you want to use a different port for anything, make sure you explicitly enable that port. We will allow a different port when we get to, to this part. We're going to change the port and then we're going to allow that port. Let's continue with that next step where we'll change the SSH port and then we're going to allow it on our firewall. If you're installing something like like cyber panel, STSCP, most of the times you'll find that these control panels will set up the firewall rules that you need because they have certain ports that they need to use. So in that case, you'll find that anything that you've set up in UFW, you'll find in your control panel and you can use your control panel as well, especially STSCP. You can use that as well to add and remove or disable certain rules, certain ports, just on the dashboard, on the SDSCP dashboard. At the end of this, I'm going to install SDSCP and you're going to see what I mean. So, for now, let's continue with Ubuntu change SSH port.